Hi, this is Emma from Centres Within and following on from a couple of texts from friends and other things that have been happening this morning, I want to talk about giving away your power. Now, what that means is that you give so much of you that you don't know who you are or you don't trust who you are and you trust outwardly. Now, I was reading um, an email I forget the lady's name. She's a very famous oracle reader. Oh my gosh, mere names. Um, it was more what she wrote that was more important than who she is. Call it Brian. Oh my gosh. Anyway, but what she was talking about is that people that she works with, her clients, should only give two readings a year. Because she believes the more readings you get, you're actually giving away your power to the reader because you are placing them and what they have way above you. Now, you obviously are going to go to people who are more experienced, qualified, whatever it is, because there's an element of what they have that you are looking to gain support and guidance with. But there comes a point that you actually know just as much about you, if not more. It's just you don't trust that. That's all it is. And to learn how to trust that, sometimes you do have to go to someone to actually show you. And a lot of it is bringing it back to basics. Yes, we do have rituals. Yes, we do align with this. And yes, we do do this. We do go and see this. And then we must do this at this point. We have a ceremony for this. These are all very important because they're very important to you and it's very important to keep to that. But there's sometimes when even all that is too much because we can lose ourselves within it. I was watching a webinar about the traditional Chinese medicine, no, sorry, the Chinese New Year, but the woman speaking was a traditional Chinese, was she? I don't think she was a doctor in it actually, but she did, her field was strongly in that um, way. And I think she did um, the astrology, but obviously under that um, lunar cycle and um, the Chinese lunar cycle. She does face um, reading. Um, She's got a website and she's got a um, Instagram page, the Elemental Architects, Archetypes, the Elemental Archetypes. Her name's Tasmin and I can't remember her second name. Is it Chow? I can't remember her second name, but on Instagram it's the um, Elemental Archetype. Very, very good. And she was saying that even though there are all these many things you follow, there's still, it doesn't mean it's going to go that way because you can change it. You can, what she's saying, chi. So chi is like the life force, but chi is neutral. So there may be a chi that um, this is going to happen, but it depends if you activate it this way or you activate it that way. And everyone talks about this, but they talk about it in different ways. And that's why sometimes people get confused because they think they've got to follow this way because it's got to be done that way. No, it's, it's, it's the same. It's how you activate it. Um, like, for instance, um, oh gosh, names are just like gone from me today. Um... Abraham Hicks talks about which end of the stick you pick up. Do you pick up that end or do you pick up that end? Because the actual thing you were thinking about is the same, but are you going on that side as in like, this is not going to work or you're going to go on that side. Actually, this is going to work. And there's all the variations in between. Giving away your power is believing outwardly things situations people know more than you do yes there are times when you need to check in gain confirmation support guidance and this can happen in anything 
anything from healing practice to going to the GP. Now, when you go to a GP, I'm not saying you ignore your GP at all because they're highly skilled, highly trained professional people who know a lot about things you have no idea about. But they will still have an element of where you can step in and say, I believe this. Can I try this? I feel this. <laughs> you know, they're going to talk about medication. You're not going to know about their medication. That's where you trust or you think, no, actually, I'm not feeling that. Is there something else I could try? I don't think my body's really agreeing to that. Instead of listening to them and say, it's only this one, there may be some other medication you can try. But the actual medication themselves, you're not going to know that. So there are elements, but that's trusting you to trust someone else. And you know when you've given your power away in time because you feel depleted, you're not too sure, and you have to keep going and you're checking in elsewhere because you don't check in with you, you check in elsewhere. You check in with that person or that person or that situation. You check the alignment with the moon or this. Now, these things are all good things as a tool because sometimes when something's going on, you think, I don't get this. I don't get this. Why am I feeling like this? When you check in with all of these things, you think, ah, oh, okay, that makes sense now. So they're reference points, but they're not like, as in, if I don't do this, at this point, this is going to happen because it changes the energy of it. It changes the energy of you and the connection to it. And it becomes something else. Anything can become something else. It's what you pour into it or allow to disappear from it. Because everything is energy. And I'll say this time and time again, and we all know it, but we forget it. I saw a great um, Instagram post yesterday and it was varying different diagrams. Someone posted saying, we're just doing our best. And then one day, like someone was like, yay, like having the best day. Another day they were sleeping. Another day they were just crying. Another day, um, I think it was like everything all going on at the same time. Because sometimes we think, well, we've done something wrong. I'm not having the yay day or everything's going right. Because that's just not going to happen. But when we give our way our power, when we give ourselves away, we lose the ability to check in. We stop checking in or we stop thinking, right, now actually I need some time to myself. I need to rest. I need just me for a while. We go to someone and say, there's something wrong here, there's something wrong here, there's something wrong with me. There isn't anything wrong. If you had a psychic reading on every single day, it would be different on every single day because you go to that reading with a different energy. Now, the underlying um, thought, um, ideas, potential forecasting may be similar, but it will be different. So how do you stop? giving away your power well you can't just do it like that because if you're used to doing that if you give so much and don't give to you it's like the famous saying they say on the airplane put your oxygen mask on first and then others it's like bringing it back to basics if you have these ceremonies and rituals and all that sort of stuff that's brilliant keep doing those things but sometimes you might have done that or gone through a deep healing but it's just Ooh, you're feeling depleted. Now, you could be giving a lot of energy to a healing practice, which does take a lot of energy, but you still need to give some back. That's why self-care is very important. Looking after yourself is very important. 
So that's where you will maybe increase your self-care. Maybe you will increase times to rest and relax. Anything that all that's impossible to do. Or building a small section of it and add it into your day or days of the week. Looking to do something that you enjoy. That you find gives you some sense of peace some sense of who you are and if you don't know what that is then start looking into ways of finding out what do you like to do and this can be doing maybe doing some research online what are you drawn to what do you feel excited by you don't have to go full into a whole massive project of it but maybe get a book about it this is all you learning about you this is all you nourishing you This is all you reclaiming you. And if you're having a day where you feel everything is going wrong and you can't seem to do anything right, there must be something wrong. I need to go. We can get very, very like anxious and think, right, I need someone to help me to get rid of this feeling or to help me. Before you do that, I'm not saying don't go and get help. But before you rush, take a moment, take a breath, take some time and be with you. Even if that means you holding yourself in a blanket and bawling your eyes out for a half an hour or an hour. See how you feel after that. Because sometimes that rush, that energy is just like, I don't know what to do, I don't know what to do, I, I feel uncomfortable. It's uncomfortable, you don't like it doesn't mean someone's going to rescue you from it or can even do so. But maybe you can yourself. Maybe you can hold yourself, breathe and be and allow it to come out. It's going to feel horrible to begin with. But once you do it once and you do it again and you do it again, it's going to feel better and better and better. And you know that's a tool you can use. And you may not need to rush off and go and see if you can get a tarot reading or go and see if you can get a call with someone or go and see. You just may need that moment, that time. And there'll be other times that, no, this is not that moment. I know I'm going through something that I need extra support. But maybe you need to wait to see who do you go to for that support before you rush in. Because you need this to disappear. Feel into it. Research. And whilst you're doing that, self-care. 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 Holding a tree, looking at a tree, walking on the ground with intention, breathing. Intentionally breathing. I was doing yoga this morning and um, the yoga teacher was just doing it on YouTube. It was like, was it breathe in for three seconds, hold and breathe out for five and do that on rotation of five times. And it just calms the nervous system. And whilst you're doing that, you can wrap yourself up in a blanket and truly infuse that blanket with love. Every fibre of that blanket is infused with love and it is holding you whilst you're in that five was it breathe in for three hold and breathe out for five and do that for five times and there's all these things that you can use i'm just seeing if there's anything else that needs to come through do apologize for the very squeaky chair but i'm on a slant so i'm hanging on I am on Islam. Um, No, I think that's it. Sending you so much love. Bye.